And the big story we're following at 7 o'clock, a doctor for Johns Hopkins shot while on his way to save lives. This happened just this morning in northeast Baltimore, and tonight police searching for the attacker. Hello, everybody. I'm Rick Ritter. Again, welcome to WJZ News at 7 and to all of you streaming us tonight. And I'm Vic Carter. That doctor recovery tonight, but this shooting is part of the disturbing pattern of violence that we've seen all across the city. And WJZ Live at 7 o'clock. Kelsey Kushner joins us now from that neighborhood where this all happened, and she has the latest details. Kelsey. Vic, Rick, will officials say tonight the doctor has since been treated at the hospital and is now at home recovering. But this all unfolded here at the intersection of East 36th Street and Ednor Road. Neighbors say that they saw bullet casings spread out all across the road. They said they heard those gunshots and had no idea what was going on until they walked out their front door. Gunshots echoed throughout East 36th Street after officials say 38 year old Johns Hopkins doctor, Dr. Madhu Subramanian, was shot early Friday morning. And I just heard uh, about four like rapidly successive pops, like pop, pop, pop. Hospital officials say Subramanian is a trauma and acute care surgeon who was shot during an attempted carjacking just after 7 a.m. on his way to work. Neighbors tell WJZ Subramanian was driving down the street when they saw two black cars with several. Suspects approach him and block him in. Seconds later, they opened fire, striking his car and him multiple times. Police say Subramanian drove off and was able to safely escape. He was transported to the hospital and has since been released. That's sad. It's just really sad. Neighbor Kate Bruffett says it's a terrifying situation. The fact that just someone randomly is, is shot at that hour of the morning is horrible, absolutely horrible. Neighbors, of course, tell me that they are left on edge tonight, hoping that the suspects don't come back. Police say they are still searching for those suspects. They're asking if anybody has any information to come forward. Reporting live at 7, Kelsey Krishner for WJZ.